Hi, I'm Ludo, the global ambassador for Grants Whisky, Scotland's oldest family-owned blended whisky. As the name suggests, Grants Whisky was first blended by William Grant, who was born in a small village in the Scottish Highlands, a place called Dufftown. After learning for 20 years how to make whisky at a local distillery, William asked for some help from his seven sons and two daughters to build the family's own whisky distillery. That was in 1887. In the early days, William was a distiller of whisky for blenders, so he would distill whisky, which he would then sell on to other blenders. His biggest customer, in fact, was a blender called Pattison, and in 1898, Pattison went bankrupt. And so William was left with the prospect of having, by then, two whisky distilleries and potentially nobody to sell his whisky on to. So he said, why don't I make it myself? Why don't I become a blender? Grant's whisky was born. In the very early days, it was called Grant's Standfast, after the war cry of the Grant clan. Standfast Krigariki is the longer version. Blending his own whisky was one thing. The next step was to start selling it. And so he enlisted his son-in-law, Charles Gordon, who traveled to Glasgow to see if there was a market for his father-in-law's whisky. Success didn't happen overnight. In fact, it took 181 visits to the local trade before Charles made the first sale. I guess he didn't want to go back to the Highlands to tell his father-in-law that nobody liked his whisky. Pretty quickly, William asked his son, John, this time to travel to the USA and Canada. That was in 1904, 1905. And then Charles, in 1909, decided to go on a journey that would take him to the Far East and as far south as Australia and New Zealand on a journey that took almost one year. Imagine today telling your partner that you're going to leave home on a business trip that's going to last for almost a year. Quite remarkable and very important for the future of our business because the next few years were challenging for most whiskey producers between prohibition in the US, the Great Depression and of course two world wars. The famous triangular bottle that we all recognize immediately as a bottle of Grant's whiskey was introduced in 1956-1957. As I'm sure you know, a blend like Grant's is a blend of malt whiskey and grain whiskey. Up until 1963, we were making malt whiskey but buying all of our grain whiskey from other producers. Clearly, this was not a sustainable model. And so the family, in fact, Charles Gordon, the grandson of the first Charles who went around the world, was tasked with finding a site to build the family's own grain distillery. And he found it in the southwest of Scotland, uh, near a town called Girvan. And if you fast forward to today, Grant's whiskey is the third largest Scotch whiskey in the world. Of course, we're still owned and managed by the fifth generation of the Grant family making it the oldest family-owned blended Scotch whisky and the best-selling family-owned Scotch whisky. Needless to say, it's also a multi-award-winning Scotch whisky.